and stop them! And welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like because that super helps us out. Quick announcement, we are working our way towards 800 subscribers. Once we get there, I'm going to be doing a super special live stream where I draw your Final Fantasy character or, you know, your OC, or even yourself. Whatever. But as soon as we get to 800, that's gonna be a thing. It's a way for me to get back to you guys for being so cool and supportive. Xenos' itinerary is as follows. He will depart from Doma Castle by ship and approach the Moon Gates. The Magitek field will be deactivated briefly, allowing his vessel to pass. It will then continue on to these very docks, where he and his entourage will disembark. As you can see, this area is not ideal for an ambush. Wide open, multiple avenues of escape. The manor is better suited to our needs. Let us split up and search for suitable hiding places. Hide, 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 hide. This location appears to be ideal for concealment. Ah, there you are. Hmm. From the roof, we would have a clear view of the docks. It is settled. We shall lie and wait here until Xenos arrives. As discussed, if all goes to plan, he shall fall with my first blow. If not, then the two of us will have to engage him in open combat. It's crazy. <laughs> His escort is of no consequence, which means that we will have a 2 to 1 advantage. Nevertheless, he is not to be underestimated. I guess she's just speaking out loud because, like, she really doesn't have to tell me anything. <laughs> All that remains is to wait. I trust that you are ready. Ready as I'm gonna be. He comes. It's a bad man with dribble. That suit of armor is so huge. The village is not far, my lord. If it please you, we shall escort you there directly. Less a province than a graveyard, the rotting husk of a broken nation devoid of proper sport. Ah, but as his radiance wishes... Yes, yes of course, my lord. I, 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 and may I say how terribly sorry we are that you had to come so far. We labored long to sow the seeds of hatred, of fear, to train them as beasts. Now we shall see the harvest. Let there be savage beasts baying for blood, and not hollow-eyed prey cowering in the dark, or there will be no joy in this hunt. Adam. 
Shinobi? And me without my brute. How weak you are. Is this the sum of your hate? This is only the beginning. For Lord Kyan! For Doma! Ah! Mayhap, I shall test this new blade of yours. Let us hope it is to my liking, lest your misfortunes compound. Then again, I am loath to expend such effort on the unworthy. Come. Earn the honor. Oh, dear. Oh, not again. Oh, he's slow moving. I hate it. Run, beast, run. You're better than most, I'll grant you that, but not good enough. This ends now. No! I see. Got him. <laughs> oh, no. You kitty. Why did you do this? So rude. Oh my gosh, she did. Ah, I remember you, Al Amigo. The champion of the savages. Look ye where the sun doth rise, see crimson embers darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall, see azure lost amidst the squall. I was to spare your life. Hear me, hero. Endure. Survive. Live. For the rush of blood. For the time between the seconds, live. For the sole pleasure left me in this empty, ephemeral world, live! You are not worthy. Join us. You imperial dog! No, don't. You must. You must flee. We're not going anywhere. Do you hear me? We're not running away. What you're doing is stupid and reckless, and I never wanted any part of it. But here we are. I've spent my whole life hating myself. For every time they made me beg, for every time I held my tongue to protect the people I love. And then you came along and reminded me of all the things I never said and never did, and it was even worse. And I would have given anything to forget, to walk away, but I knew I'd never be able to live with the guilt. So we came, all of us, for you, 
for ourselves, for Doma! Death is death, regardless of the reason. Yet you seem determined to die, intruding upon this sacred ground, turning weapons you can scarcely wield upon me. Your lives will not even begin to redress the balance. How wrong you are! <laughs> Now, Gazetsu, see to you, Giri. Hi. I can't see a damn thing. Someone stop them! My lord? We, you beat him. I don't think we were followed. Gods, I have no idea what was going through that man's head, but I'm heartily glad he decided to leave. Oh, and don't thank us. Thank Alphano. He's at the House of the Fierce, patiently awaiting your gratitude. You should have seen the way he turned pale when he heard about Yugiri's plan, and how you, of all people, had decided to help her. He was in such a panic, barking orders, calling for a squadron to be assembled. He loves you. He does love me. As were you. I was rather composed, as I recall, though that is neither here nor there. Well, I'll be poised. We faced the crown prince himself and lived to tell the tale. I have no idea what this means for us. Everyone's talking about getting more weapons and armor and... And, and we're not going to stop until we take it back our homeland. Ah, right. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we? We've got wounded to tend to first. We should get back to the village. How are you feeling? After fighting that demon, I can only imagine. I suppose I ought to apologize to you for, you know. Anyway, uh, thank you for not giving up on us. The Shinobi, too. Hey, no problem. How are you feeling, my lady? Much the better for my comrades ministrations and your most generous hospitality. You need not worry. Good. If there is anything else we can do for the two of you, anything at all, just ask. Stare any harder and you're like to burn a hole in them. Go and say your piece, for goodness sake. I've got nothing more to say to them. I'm going to find out how the others are getting on. Gosetsu. Mistress Alize, I owe you an apology. I acted with reckless disregard for my own safety and endangered I know not how many others in so doing. You think? Scorning your wise counsel, I knowingly defied our master's wishes and left you no choice but to follow suit. Nonsense. I followed our master's wishes to the letter. Consider once more his words and the intent therein. In offering his head, he but sought to shield his people from harm, loyal retainers included. You must value your life more highly, Shadow Walker. On the other hand, your recklessness did serve as an inspiration to many. Mayhap you should not be so hard on yourself. 
In any event, if you must apologize profusely, it seems only right that you expend as much effort thanking the one person who supported your plan from the first. There's my girl. Allie's got my back. That it does. There are no words which will suffice. But thank you. And there they are! Twelve be praised. When I learned of your rather questionable plot to assassinate Xenos, I feared we would need to recruit a new Primal Slayer. I'm sorry we couldn't be there. Alize made me swear to stay behind no matter what. I think she was worried I'd hurl myself at Xenos the moment I set eyes on him. But she wasn't wrong. You'll forgive me for changing the subject, but now would seem a good time to discuss where we go from here. Though the Empire has yet to retaliate, the fact remains that we have revealed our presence and signalled our intentions in so doing. It is only a matter of time before the Imperials move against us. Given that we lack the strength to oppose them, tis plain some manner of brilliant stratagem is required. Therefore, I yield the floor to the preeminent tactician of our time, with whom I was privileged to share a womb. If you insist. While in Kagane, we debated a number of approaches and were eventually forced to concede that we cannot look to the Alliance for aid even were it possible to ferry sufficient forces and materiel from Eorzea in a timely manner, such a massive undertaking would not long escape the attention of the Empire. It would be a miracle if our ships reached the shore. Fortunately, according to Tataru and Hancock's intelligence, the Empire has withdrawn most of its forces from Doma in the past year, leaving her relatively unguarded. That being the case, a popular uprising, spearheaded by the full might of the Doman Liberation Front, may feasibly be sufficient to threaten the seat of provincial government, namely Doma Castle. It would be rather easier said than done, of course, but I have seen worse plans prevail. Then we must needs meet with Lord Hien and convince him to return, for there is no surer way to inspire our people to rise up as one. He desired proof of his subject's conviction, and they have provided it, through no lesser deed than openly opposing Xenos himself! It will work. It has to work. And next time, we will defeat him. I will be traveling to the Azum Steppe. -er. I found Lord Hien once before, and I am confident I could do so again. Moreover, it was to me whom he put the question of Doma's resolve. I feel it my duty to deliver him our people's reply. Our countrymen's needs speak for themselves. Lord Hien cannot deny the truth of their hearts. Too long has it been since I looked on his face. It would be of great comfort to see him again. And no small comfort if you were to join us in this search, I should add. I wonder what kind of man he is. From what I heard, he's about the same age as me. And then there's Fordola, who isn't a whole lot younger than us both. Like her, he was born and raised in an imperial province. This is all he's ever known, but unlike her, he chose to do something about it. I want to meet him. I want to know why. Maybe if I understand that, it'll help me to understand a lot of other things. The beloved king returning to urge his countrymen to rise up in rebellion. Not a story you'd ever hear in Charlay and Olda, is it? Not in those words, perhaps, but no land's people is so cynical to be wholly immune to inspiration. Singular individuals have the power to move hearts and minds no matter where they go. Mm. 
Doubtless you speak from personal experience. As much as this lord here intrigues us, Burr, there are vital tasks to be attended to here. Preparations for the inevitable assault on Doma Castle, for one. There is also the matter of coordinating our efforts with the Confederacy and our comrades in Kugane, dealing with this troublesome etherite. I could go on, but you understand. I like our little skirt. It's cute. Aye, so it goes. We all have our responsibilities. We shall depart for the Azim Step at once. You will be joining us, Burr. Yep. For our part, we shall do what we can to aid the Dome Liberation Front in your absence. We will refrain from conducting any large-scale operations in your absence, and instead devote our energies to bolstering our ranks and training our new recruits. When you return, we will be ready for war. If anything happens, if you need us to come back sooner, you'd better contact us. Noble sacrifices are a last resort, remember? <sighs> Follow me, my friends. We have many miles to travel before we reach reunion. Wait! Don't leave yet! Here, take these for the road. It's simple, fair, but it's the least we can do for you, after what you did for us. It may be stupid and naive of me to say this, but I will. When you come back, we'll finish what we started. We'll battle the Imperials and we'll win our freedom. So, don't keep us waiting too long. Ah. Meanwhile, in the keep of Domar Castle. I would expect no less of Bahamut's conqueror. Prepare the airship. His Radiance will not object. We have fulfilled our obligations here. I would see this prize for myself. She deserves it though, okay? Do you understand why I appointed you to act in my stead? You, whose only accomplishment was to whisper the right words in the right ear. <laughs> the cause of your petty hatreds. They render you the perfect instrument to bleed your kinsmen of hope. To make an example of Doma. Such as was ordered. Listen well. If you yield Doma to the rebels, you will not be given another chance to beg forgiveness. Do your duty now, or die with the rest of them. Are you all right, my lady? That was uncalled for. Oh! Do it again. Again, again, again! They say your Eorzean is helping the rebels. I want her dead. I want her friends dead. I want the heads of everyone she knows and loves mounted on the castle walls. You mean... you mean I can finally go after her? <laughs> I've been waiting for this chance. I promise you, my lady, she won't escape this time. Not this time, oh no.
Meanwhile, in the fringes of Garabagna. <laughs> We're just going all over. Aye. This is the place. Hold up. When his shade was banished, you swore to leave this life behind. And yet here you are. What choice do you have but to end it? <laughs> or so the boy would say, damn you, Alphano. I'm so excited he comes back, yes! If all are ready, let us depart for reunion in the Azam Steep. Our route will be somewhat circuitous. We will need to return to the Ruby Sea and head north along the coast, past Izari. I give you the Azim Step Burr, though I should say that this is but one small portion of it. Despite the close proximity, Dobbins rarely venture this far north. Most find these lands and their people strange and foreign. Fortunately, those who frequent Reunion are more welcoming than most. Come, it is not much further. Welcome to Reunion, my friends. Here is where we will begin our search for the Lord Hien. When last I spoke with Lord Hien, he said he spent much time in these ma markets. I had hoped we might find him here today, but alas. Hey, you kitty. I've been meaning to ask. There are an awful lot of Zayla here, aren't there? Oh, I assumed you knew. The Azum Step has been home to the nomadic tribes of the Zayla since antiquity. More than 50 roam these lands, and though they do not constitute a nation, there is a hierarchy of sorts determined through ritual combat. Funny, if they're so busy fighting each other, you'd think the Empire would be able to march in and take the step with these. I wonder why they haven't. Why indeed, Lise, why indeed. Perhaps they see little value in it, especially given the fierce reputation of the Zayla warriors who would fight tooth and nail to oppose them. These lands were not made for men. The soil is thin, and the weather unforgiving. The Zayla found ways to survive. It is true, but they are made of sterner stuff than most Imperials, conscript or citizen. Thanks for taking the time to explain. It sounds like I've got a lot to learn. Later, I mean, we're meant to be looking for Hien. People from many tribes gather in reunion to trade goods and information. I should be surprised if we cannot learn something of value here. Let us make our inquiries separately. Burr, why don't you speak of some of the merchants here? Booze, fresh booze, your choice of landlord zoe, guaranteed to satisfy. How many will you have, miss? Eh? A dolman? Unless another Dazkar is keeping him in her yurt, he is not here. Snort? More fool her if, more fool her if she took a dolman for her husband. And enough about dolmans, let us speak of booze instead. Surely your mother or father made you some when you were little. A Zayla who never eats booze is never a whole Zayla. What fortune you have to come hither at this time? Freshly slaughtered, every cut available on request. Organs too, hearts, livers, brains, or a brace of blood sausages if you desire only a snack. A dolman. Poor meat they make, dolmans. I jest, I jest. <laughs> I did see a young boy in the company of one some a few days ago. Roasted fish with pumpkin. An exotic foreign delicacy cooked to perfection, beloved without the step. Come, come. You seek dolmans? Then you are come to the wrong place, my friend. Delicious as my foodstuffs are, they find little favor with those from the south. Now, if it were Goro you were looking for, on the other hand, then I might be able to help you. They flock to my stall. I have brought you a new brush, my beloved. So smooth and silky, your maid shall be the envy of every other man. <laughs> hmm? Say again? You are seeking who? Ah, the dolman. I know of whom you speak. He comes and goes with a boy girl. Mole girl? Though I could not describe her, I only know that she is mole because I heard them talking as they pass. There, there, you did well to travel so far. I am Ura, if you must know. Come down from the mountains to the north if there is nothing else. You take me for a mole! 
I am more near, comparing out with one so weak and lowly. Yes, I am Mo. My name is Serena. May I help you? Oh, oh, I see. You are looking for Hien, in that case. How urgent this business must be to leave our conversation unfinished. The Kinsei. Will you buy it? There is but one bundle left. If not, then... I will, I will. Though I had not enough to pay... I not thought to pay so high a price. He just, like, shrug. It is a bargain for which you should be grateful. If you lack the coin, then the fault is your own and you will leave with nothing. Rude. Please, I must have the Kinsel. The gods themselves requested it. We are bound to their will. <laughs> Pay me the difference in Whisper Root. I will sell it to the next apothecary, apothecary to pass the reunion and we will each feel fairly treated. But do not tarry. Should another come before you, coin in hand, I will not refuse it. I understand. Thank you for this kindness. No, I don't want to help you find it. I am sorry, but we must speak of he and later. I cannot leave reunion without that Kinzai. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right. From uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.